Hi everybody, Jeremy here from Video Utah Studio and today I'm going to show you a free title from our cinematic modern title pack. So let's check it out. Alright, so first off you can download this title by clicking the link in the description below. You will get this zip file. Uh, in the zip file you have a couple of things. First, so you have the license, installation instruction, the TRFX file and the font. Please make sure to install all the fonts included. Uh, just select everything, double click on it or just copy and paste them in your font folder and then you can proceed to uh, double click on the TRFX file to install the title. Uh, very important that you install the font otherwise the title will not work. Then you can just double click on the TRFX file, it will prompt open this window and you can just click install and now the title is installed on your computer. Now we can move on to the edit page of DaVinci Resolve. We can go over to effect, title and here in the search bar we search for sample and it will just bring up all the sample that you may already have from us and here the cinematic modern sample. So you can just take it and drag it here in the timeline. I'm going to run you through all the parameters in a second, but first off, this title will work with any frame rate and any resolution because it has been built with expression and an in curve, so you can extend it as long as you want. It will retain the animation in and the animation out, and it will adapt to any resolution. Now, by default, there is only the animation in. Uh, the animation out is deactivated, but you can activate it right here in the inspector. So here for animation out, you have two options. You have none or you have replicate in, which is basically replicating the animation in and it's the same thing here for the animation in you have the original which is the animation and then you have no animation if you don't want to have any animation usually we have a drop down where you can choose from a different type of animation but this one because we used the follower and because of the specific movement that we've created uh, we couldn't do that so we instead exported the style so you can choose basically the order in which the letters are going to come into frame so right now it's random but you could choose uh, left to right so here it will come from left to right uh, you can choose from right to left, inside out, uh, outside in, completely random and manual curve. Now another great feature that we added is that here you can choose your animation lens. So here by default it's one second but you can choose from half a second to five second maximum. So here if I wanted to have it uh, a bit longer I could just do three seconds instead and now the animation will be three seconds. So here as you can see the title is not rendering right away. So ideally what you would do is here you want to go over to playback run the cache you want to put it as smart and then it will just show you that bar right above so it's a progression bar that kind of move from uh, red to blue blue means that the cache has been rendered and that the title will play at uh, the right frame rate and without a dropped frame to make sure it's happening quicker it will usually happen in the background but if you want to make sure that it's happening quicker you can just right click on your title and here render cache fusion output and you can select on and as you can see, it's going to play smoothly. Here we go. Now that we've covered everything related to animation, let's move on to uh, the style adjustment that you can make. I'm just going to extend my inspector right here so we have more space. Here you can adjust the size and position. So you could drag it down, for example, reduce the size and adjust the angle. If you want to reset any of those parameters, you can just double click on it and it will just reset the parameter to the default value. Then the second drop down here, we have the text. So you can change the text, you can change the font, you can change the color, the size, the tracking, which is basically the space between uh, each letter. And if you have multiple lines, you can also adjust the spacing between those lines. Now the next drop down is shadow control. I'm just gonna bring here a piece of footage in the timeline to show you how it look like. So here the shadow control, you can enable it. It will just activate it. Right now, the shadow is very diffuse. I'm gonna bring the blur down to zero to show you uh, the solid shadow. So this can be great to create more separation with your background or create a certain effect. You can adjust the shadow strength, which is essentially uh, the opacity of that shadow. So here, if you raise it to the maximum, you will get uh, something that is solid and not see-through. And then the more you reduce it, uh, the more you'll be able to see through that shadow. Then you can adjust the drop angle. So here it will just be at the angle of your shadow. And then you can adjust also the drop distance. This is going to be the distance between your text and the shadow of your text. So right now I'm just going to bring it back here. And then blur. If it's at zero, you're going to have a solid shadow. And if you just bring it all the way up, it will be diffuse and you will almost not see the shadow. So right now I'm just going to go around there. I think it's a very nice feature to use if you want to make your title pop a little more. As you can see right here, it's very discreet. But here, if I were to toggle it off, as you can see, it really make a difference. Uh, when we have it, it helps to really make those letters pop. 
Now the next drop down is glow control. So here you can adjust the glow of your title. So the glow size will be basically the spread of that glow. The higher the glow size, the more the glow gonna be spread. And uh, if you just bring the glow size down, it will be more localized on the letter. Then the glow itself is basically the intensity of that glow. So if you bring it all the way up and past the threshold, as you can see, it's just like purely white and burning completely the text. And if you bring it down, uh, it will just uh, almost disappear. So you can just play with those two parameters to get the type of glow that you want. And then with the blend, you can adjust basically the overall intensity of what you just created. Here with the perspective, you can adjust the X uh, axis, the Y and the Z axis. Right now I'm just going to reset everything to zero and then the last one is background. So the background helps you to create again more separation between the footage and your title by here increasing the opacity. You're basically bringing a layer between the two and this background is animated. So you will have a simple fade in that's just going to go on and you have a couple of things that you can adjust here. You can adjust the width and the height to really shape that background as you want and maybe just localize it in certain parts of your frame. You can adjust the corner radius right here. And then here, if you click invert, you will basically invert that background and create a frame all around your title. So here, as you can see, if the soft edge is down, we have something that is solid. And if we bring the soft edge up, we have a gradient going on, uh, creating a nice vignette all around. And that's pretty much it. Again, you can download that title by clicking the link in the description below. I hope it will be useful to you. If you enjoy uh, to use this title, you can check uh, on our website, the full pack containing 30 cinematic modern title. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye. Speed up your workflow and create better videos using the pack available on our website, including titles, transition, and templates, but only for DaVinci Resolve. Get started today by downloading our free starter pack containing a compilation of 20 titles curated from our library. Link in the description below or at videodigitalstudio.com.